In this problem, I just want to parse a part of forename and surname pair. So I've got a lab here, and it's just saying, give us a form, uh, ask the user to input a name, including a forename and a surname, and I just want to split that apart into a results page where I've got a forename that's identifying the forename, and then a surname that identifies the surname. The form part is straightforward enough. I can see it's just a simple HTML form with a text input type and I'm labeling the actual value coming in from that text box as username and then we just got a submit button and it's submitting to my file name it's called lab03f-result.php and I'm using the post method. Now onto the actual results page let's go about actually working this out. Now this is only just using a substring function I know there's an explode function that deals with arrays as well in PHP but just when we're starting out dealing with actual string functions I want to practice using substring and some of the other different functions as well so we're going to work this out. First thing is we're just going to take in that um, username from the form. Next I have to figure out what is it that actually identifies the, uh, the difference between the forename and the surname. Well, if I've typed out this particular name here, uh, I can see the item that identifies the difference between the forename and the surname is the space character in the middle. That's exactly what we see with the human eye and it's no different for when we're programming it with PHP. We want to find where that space is. And the way to do that in PHP is using the strpause or string position function. Looking up the str pause function in the function reference, we can see that uh, it can possibly take three different arguments. The third one is optional though because it's wrapped in those square brackets. So what it is, we're looking for uh, a needle, which is the second argument, so that's the space character, and we are looking for it in whatever the user string is, in this case username variable. And it's going to return, well in our case it's going to return a number. So if I go back and uh, just type in the different variables and we can see that I've just put in the username as the first argument and put in a space character as the second argument so I'm looking for where does the space character occur first of all give me the actual string position of that let's test it so far and let's see what that space pause variable holds after that string pause function has been called so saving that and going back into my browser to test, I can see that it's giving me 8. Does that tally with the actual name that was in the user form? I've got 8 different characters in Alphonsus. Uh, why does it actually give me uh, an index of 8 uh, for the space? Well, any of these indexes that return from string functions, they always start with the first character listed as index 0. So it starts counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 is the space. So all is correct so far. Let's go back to the code. Next thing I need to figure out is what I'm going to do with that space pause, with this uh, index of where the space is. So I have to think about how can I actually use PHP and find a function that can take all of the different characters from the beginning of the string up into that, uh, that space. So the ideal uh, function for that is just this, a substring function. Bringing that up in my function reference, I can see substring. It's going to return a string to me. And it takes at least two different arguments and possibly an optional third. So we can take a look and say, well, the first string is uh, the string, the input string. It must be one character or longer. So that is just username in my case. In start is where do I want to start taking strings from? Uh, so characters from, in our case, that will be zero. I want to start taking from the very beginning of username. And then the last optional function is the length of characters that I want to take. Well, in our case, we want to take eight characters. So if I actually just put the space pause variable in there, that should work. And let's test this. Um, I'm just going to echo out whatever I've assigned from substring into forename. I'm going to echo out the forename variable. Uh, let's go back to my test bed and uh, let's press submit query. 
And there we go, we're only getting the forward aim now. And that works. Looking back at the code and explaining it, again, we're passing in username, so whatever the full name was that the user has actually entered, we want to start in position zero, which is always the case for the, uh, the first name, and we want to enter at space pause eight. Now, remember that space pause is returning the index of the space character, with the index starting at zero for the very first character. So if I want to tally that with the same number of characters that are in the four name, it tallies perfectly. So that's how that works. So I just tidy up that code a little bit, putting in some comments, and also putting in some context for the user concatenating on four name as a string literal, and also a break tag, ready for me to actually go on to dealing with the surname. Now the surname, again, keeping in mind that we've already got the space position, um, and that's stored in that variable called space pause. I know again I'm going to be using substring function in some way or form. So I'm going to start typing in substring. I know I'm going to be taking a substring from the username that the user has put in. And uh, where do I want to start taking from? Well, I want to start taking from the position past the space pause. So space pause as an index of h. I want to start taking one past that. Great thing with uh, using functions and passing in arguments to them in any programming language, and PHP is no exception, is I can usually just add in numbers on the fly like that. So I want to start taking letters from one character past the index of where the space character was. So I'm adding one in there, not bothering creating a new variable, there's probably no need. Now, uh, the last argument then is how many different uh, characters do I need? Well, one way to work this is uh, just not put in any third argument at all. If I go back to the substring in the function reference, remember that it was optional. And so I could actually just type in here dollar surname, uh, assign that value coming back from substring there, and uh, we just echo out the surname. As it goes, no problem. Um, if I wanted to be more accurate with it, and I wanted to add in this third argument, is there any way to actually find out through the PHP code automatically that uh, how many different characters were their surname? Well, there is. I mean, I could actually use the strlen function. strlen function just takes one string argument. Again, I'm going to be passing in the username variable. I'll put that in a variable, I'll call it length, and then what I need from length is, and what I have here is I'm just taking the length of the entire string and taking away whatever the index was of space pause, so that will give me the actual length of the surname, and then it would just be a case of putting that in as the third argument. And uh, let's just see if that works as well. And it does. And just to check it with different names as well, different lengths of names. And it does. So it's flexible enough to adjust to any length of forename and surname as long as there's a space in the middle. And that's how to pass a um, forename and surname.